so I decided first, this was my, my big boo-boo here. What I decided was I'm going to go ahead and show you um, approximately your measurements before you wet them and get them all crinkled. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through here. And for me, I'm going to take a little uh, fat poker here to help me get it through. Well, that's a little too big. Okay, we'll find a different size. Here we go. This one will work. Okay, so I'm going to take this here and run it through. And I'm taking my darkest color first. And I just have all my pages already lined up how I want them in order. And I just poke it through each page. You know, this is typical, just like you would with ring binding. If you want to use your ring binding, you know, if you have any, you can do that. Or you can use your ribbons. For me, I like using ribbons because it's um, much easier to do that. And I know my edge is fraying, but that's okay. I have plenty of ribbon to go around, okay? Sorry, and then I'm going to do this one. Oh, go through there. You gotta have one of those days where it doesn't want to work with you, right? And this would be that one when I'm trying to do a video and show you. Let me move this paper out of the way. Okay. So then I just line the pages back up. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of space here, okay? Not too much. Okay, almost like what you would with a ring binder, okay? And then I'm just going to tie it off. Okay, let me do it the other way. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut my little edge off here and off here. And then I do have this covered up, but not too much. I have it where I can still put my, uh, I didn't glue this all the way to the edge if you can see that. And I will, once I finish, I will glue this little, well actually I glued this edge already to the very, um, glue this lace to the very edge. Let me poke it through the first hole. I know it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing because my flower is covering up that hole but I just made sure not to get any glue. Ah, of course, like I said, when I want to show you, it's going to act cray cray. So I'm going to twist it a little bit and see if that helps to feed it through. What the, <laughs> okay, I use my tweezers instead. There we go, that's even better, but maybe not. This is going to be like one of my blooper practical joke type things, like when you just can't get your tutorial right. <laughs> okay. Yay! You are like, holy cow, lady. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and feed it through the next one. And then the next one. And then the next one. And then through the very last. And again, I'm going to pull that out through a little bit. There we go. Stack my pages. And then I'm going to guesstimate approximately the same measurement that I did with the last one. And that looks... Uh, there we go. That looks about right. Okay. Yep. That looks about right. Okay. 
trim my little edge off here trim off this little excess extra ugliness that got going on there with that ripped up end crinkle it up with my hands this is what I love about this ribbon that you don't even have to spray it to crinkle it you can just crinkle it in your fingers so that always works now at this point all I'm going to do is and I'm just going to show you with a couple of them and then I know you'll know what to do yourself I just cut these at an angle and do it about maybe an inch and a half and then tie it on and slide it down I think I did a little tight there <laughs> I should slide them down first before I tighten it I guess I can fit another one in the middle there <clears throat> And then just crinkle my edges. Yep, I did that pretty tight, so it's not going to move. Maybe I'm going to do this one a little bit longer. Let me see how long this really is. Oh my goodness. Okay, I was lying. This is about five inches. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and crinkle it first. It's much easier to do that. And then put it close to the next the first knot and then tie and then anything left over that I don't like that like if I don't like these little edges and they're looking too crazy I'll just come back and do that and that's about it so basically all of them only need to be about five inches so it's easier just to measure them out rather than have like a whole bunch of different strands that are like crazy length so anyway um, I'll come back uh, at the very end to show you the finished product and I hope you like this tutorial and I can't wait to see y'all next month um, I may add a card in here in the next couple days um, in fact I'm pretty sure I will because I love this and I, I want to send one of these cards to my mom because this is a beautiful collection um, I may even send this to her I really do like it but I want to get some photos done first and if I do get the photos and I have time I'll definitely um, show you a video with the photos in there because I know a lot of people are like do people actually put photos in these well yes we do <laughs> anyway I'll see you all in just a little bit